गुड मॉर्निंग बोथ एबल टू हियर मी यस नो गुड मॉर्निंग सर योर वॉइस इज टू क्लियर इज इट क्लियर नाउ इट इज क्लियर थैंक यू so next we have created uh, we have started foreign currency valuation and yesterday we have created the gl account okay write down the second step define valuation methods define valuation methods define valuation methods write down the path spro SAP reference IMG financial accounting new financial accounting new general ledger accounting new sorry general ledger accounting new periodic processing periodic processing next valuate next define valuation methods define valuation methods define valuation methods so i'll go with this spro sap reference img financial accounting new financial accounting new general ledger accounting new general ledger accounting new so here we have periodic processing periodic processing so here evaluate select evaluate select evaluate define valuation methods define valuation methods okay so i'll go with systems we don't have uh, this one in our transaction code for this but still we'll check so this is not transaction code this is nothing but table this is this is a table so here define valuation method define valuation method let me check let me check anything that we have already created valuation methods for ultra it is already there okay just write down press new entries press new entries it's already there but still i'll show you and press new entries press new entries and click on so you can write it valuation method give any valuation method here Have, we have given it as an UFVN, UFVN, and write down the description. Ultra foreign currency valuation. We have a three different reports, right? Three reports, right? One is local gap report, IFRS report, and US gap report. So we need to create three different valuation methods. As per your reports, you need to prepare your valuation methods. Okay. okay so next one put a check box as an always evaluate always evaluate means it need to check after checking it need to be post to respective gl accounts so check post per line item post per line item okay and select balance valuation method balance valuation method okay and here exchange rate type for debit balance is m you know that what is m correct for buying rate selling rate right you remember here you can see on the bottom 
this is average rate this is nothing but your cost planning rate mp we have defined this is nothing but bank buying rate right b is nothing but bank selling rate these are the standards b g m p so we are taking m is nothing but bank average rate standard average rate in your website also it will take m only foreign currency valuation so keep it as an m write it down as it is this particular screen Once you're done, let me know. Once you're done, let me know. Yes, no. Still writing. Yeah, yeah, please. So as it is, write it down. Okay, the next double click on time dependent attributes after writing this. Next, write down double click on time dependent attributes. Time dependent attributes. Time dependent attributes. And for already I have created, so you need to write. Okay, so write it down as in new entries. Press new entries. After double click on time dependent attributes, press new entries. Okay. So here, valuation method already we defined UF1. Fiscal year start from the current fiscal year starts from 1st April 2023. So here, the time unit you will have daily, monthly, and yearly. Three options will be there. So daily, monthly or yearly normally we are selecting month monthly we want to do the valuation okay normal they will go with yearly no one will go to daily if you want to generate your profit and loss monthly then you can select monthly but you want your client wants yearly then you will select yearly just check it out Next, write down the description. Okay. Write down ultra. Ultra foreign currency valuation local gap. Same thing, always evaluate debit balance exchange rate standard average, credit balance exchange rate type average. Once you're done, let me know. Done, everyone. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So click on save button. And after that, write down, click on save button. 
the next press back button press back button press back button the next select uf v1 uf v1 so because we need to create we need to create two more uh, validation types one is ifrs reporting and for us gap reporting so click on copy as button because the same attributes we are going to take select copy as button select uf v1 and click on copy as button okay then you can give You can give here instead of uf v1 just give uf v2 uf v2 and change the description and change the description Okay, and only changes lowest value principle. Okay, so here in the previous one, we have selected revaluate only method, and here we are selecting lowest value principle method. So, what is the difference between in the sense, for example, if I select a revaluate method, it will compare each and every transaction, it will compare each and every transaction. Okay, but when it when we select the lowest value principle method means, for example, in this particular month, uh, July month, we are doing it. Okay, so it will check which uh, on which date the rate exchange rate was low. So with that, it will start comparing. It will start evaluate here. If you select revaluate only method, so first transaction to second, second to third, third to fourth, it will compare. But when you select lowest value principle method, so all the different types we will see. Okay, lowest value principle method in the sense on complete July month, on com in complete July month, on which date the exchange rate was least. With that, it will compare all the other transactions. So that is the difference between lowest value principle and always evaluate method. Is this clear? So only this thing we will change it. That's it. Only this thing, only lowest. And remaining, write down. Change the dis change the valuation method, change the description and valuation procedure. Select to lowest value principle. And all the attributes are same. Same as above. All the attributes are same as above. Okay. Any questions? So what are the things we are changing? Valuation method, description, and valuation procedure from always evaluate to lowest value principle. And remaining, all the attributes are same as above. Okay. So again, double click on time dependent terms. Time dependent attributes. So here also we need to change from lowest value principle. So it will be already there. So it will be there always evaluate method. Change the description. Change the description. Change the description and valuation procedure lowest value principle. Okay. So only two things. Same thing. General attributes, description, and valuation procedure, lowest value principle. Okay. Kindly respond. Is it done or not? No. 
So click on save button. Okay, press back button. After saving, press back button. Press back button. Press back button. So select UFV1 again. UFV1 again. Similarly, we want to create. Select UFV1. UFV1. So click on copy as button. Click on copy as button because we need to create one more US gap reporting. Click on UF V3. For example, I'll select this. Copy as button and give here UF V3. UF V3. Okay, again, the only changes description. Write down the description. Ultra foreign currency valuation, US gap. Okay. So next one here, change to from lowest value principle to, or always evaluate to strict to lowest value principle. Then what is the difference between this and this? What is lowest value principle? Lowest. What, what do you mean by lowest val value principle? In that particular month, on which date the exchange rate was rate was low? Okay, that will be compared, correct? Yes. On that particular month. But if I'm selecting strict to lowest value principle, means throughout the year, this is monthly. Okay, this is month and this is a year. So throughout the year, on which date? which month, which date, it is the least. So with that, it will compare total year exchange rate. Is this clear? So lowest yes. value principle, it is a on in that particular month. But when we say strict lowest value principle, throughout the year on which date the least, it was least, the exchange rate was least, then it will compare with that. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Just write it up. So it will just change this attribute. One is description and one is strict to lowest principle value. And remaining all are same. And remains all other options are same. Okay. Next, double click on time dependent attributes. Same thing. Lowest to just change the description, change the description, and click on stick to lowest value principle. Once you are done, let me. Okay, three reports, three valuation types we are selecting. Okay, three reports, three different procedures we are selecting it. So this particular concept is introduced in new GL accounting. Prior, we don't have this concept, the valuation procedure concept. This is absolutely new one. Okay. Clear? So normal, they used to compare whatever rate but this is uh, because our classes were got delayed. This is newly introduced. So we are able to cover this particular topic in this. Yeah, just write it down. Okay. Right. Then whatever valuation methods we have created that has to be assigned to valuation methods valuation areas write down define valuation area next step define valuation area 
define valuation area. Path same as above till valuate. Path same as above till valuate. From there, select define valuation areas. Define valuation areas. Define valuation areas. Define valuation areas. Path same as above till valuate and from there select define. I think so. What we need to do, just write down press new entries, press new entries. Press new entries. For testing purpose, I have already done this. So here, press new entries. So we need to give like this. So whatever your company code, I'm giving it as an ultra U1. Write down U1. U1. So already we have, just now we have created valuation method UFV1. So write down UFV1. UFV1. Okay, same thing. U1, U2, U3. Just create it as per your company code naming convention or your project manager naming convention, whatever he has given. So give it as an UFV1, UFV2, UFV3. Okay, select here. Okay, so here you can select. It will show different currencies. So select here it as a company code currency. Company code currency, company code. So here, if we will get exchange rate, why we are selecting two currencies in the sense, we want exchange rate difference in local currency and as well as hard currency. That is in USD. So write down this. Select company code currency for all the three valuations and select hard currency for all the three valuations. Write down this. Okay. Yes. Yes. Sir. So go to extreme right. Extreme right. We have a description here. So you can write a description here. Long text. Give a long text here. Give a long text here. U1, ultra valuation area for local gap, ultra valuation area for IFRS, ultra valuation area for US gap. So we are giving just title or description. Done? Yes, sir. Next step. So assignment of valuation area and accounting principles. So already in new GL concept, when we started new GL concept, when we create accounting principles like local gap and US gap and IFRS, we have already assigned. So is it exist or not? We will check it. Write down next step. Check assignment of check assignment of accounting principle to ledger group. Is it the same? Yeah. Check assignment of accounting principle to ledger group. So it's already done. As I mentioned here also, it's already done. So just we need to check it. Write down the path. Path same as above till valuate. Path same as above till valuate. From there select. From there, select check assignment of 
check assignment of accounting principal to ledger group check assignment of accounting principal to ledger group note configuration and the new jail concept at the time of new jail concept only we have assigned this okay bx by whatever we have created configuration already mentioned in new gl accounting configuration already mentioned and maintained sorry not mentioned maintained in new gl accounting so we will see now so i'll save this press back button okay accounting principles so here we have ultra right zero l ledger See here, ULGP, UUGP, so you can see here, see here, ULGP is connected to 0 ledger, UIFRS linked to ux ledger that is nothing but ifrs ledger we created it over there as a 0l bx and by if i'm not wrong yes sir. so same we are assigning here we have already assigned just we are checking here whether it is there or not Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Next step, right down. Assign valuation areas and accounting principles. Assign valuation areas and accounting principles. Path same as above. Path same as above. Till valuate. Till valuate. Path same as above. Till valuate. And from there select. Assign valuation areas. Assign valuation areas. And accounting principles. Okay. Assign valuation areas and accounting principles. So press new entries. Press new entries. So let me check. We have given. So here you can select here. See here. So press new entries. Give you one. So link it to ULGP. So we are connecting valuation areas, whatever created U1, U2, U3, and we are create we are assigning to accounting principle, local gap reporting, IFRS reporting, and US gap reporting. So just write it down as it is. Yes, sir. Okay. Click on save button. Okay. Uh, so till here, we have completed. What are the things we have done once we will see. Okay. What we have done here, we have created valuation areas valuation area okay so we have connected to valuation methods valuation methods correct and these valuation method are connected to 
accounting principles. Accounting or sorry, ledger group. Ledger group. Okay. So what I'll do. Okay, nature group and accounting principles. Valuation areas are assigned to accounting principles. And these ledger groups are linked to ledger. So here, write down this. These are the steps we have done till now. If you won't remember, So what we have created valuation type. We have created valuation type as in first U1, U1, and we have created for local gap, UFV1, 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 and we have created here ULGP, ULGP, and we have created ledger group as 0L ledger, 0L ledger, and here we link it, same thing, ledger also 0L ledger. Just write it out, this picture. Once you are done, let me know. So if someone is asking you valuation currency configuration, you can just explain this. That's it. Once you are done, let me know. Done. Again. Write down next step, last step. Prepare automatic postings for foreign currency valuation. Prepare automatic postings for foreign currency valuation. Prepare automatic postings for foreign currency valuation. Last step, this is configuration step. Write down the path. Up to evaluate same path. Path same as above till value it till value it from there select foreign currency valuation select foreign currency valuation from there select up to value it same path from there select foreign currency valuation okay from there select prepare automatic postings prepare automatic postings for current foreign currency valuation for foreign currency valuation foreign currency valuation transaction code OBA1 OBA1 so I'll go with the path once again. Okay, till value it, it is the same. So here we need to select, select foreign currency valuation, select foreign currency valuation. So here the first option, 
रिपेयर ऑटोमेटिक पोस्टिंग्स फॉर फॉरेन करेंसी वैल्यूएशन रिपेयर ऑटोमेटिक पोस्टिंग्स फॉर फॉरेन करेंसी वैल्यूएशन ओके सो नेक्स्ट स्टेप राइट डाउन सो वी हैव अ डिफरेंट ऑप्शंस हियर सो वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट एक्सचेंज रेट डिफरेंस यूजिंग ओके सो राइट डाउन डबल क्लिक ऑन केडीबी डबल क्लिक ऑन केडीबी डबल क्लिक ऑन केडीबी आर आर डबल क्लिक ऑन केडीबी आर एक्सचेंज रेट डिफरेंस एक्सचेंज रेट डिफरेंस यूजिंग एक्सचेंज रेट की डबल क्लिक ऑन केडीबी दैट इज नथिंग बट ट्रांजैक्शन और डबल क्लिक ऑन एक्सचेंज रेट डिफरेंस यूजिंग एक्सचेंज रेट की एक्सचेंज रेट की डबल क्लिक ऑन केडीबी अगेन अगेन आई एम रीड रेटिंग केडीबी और एक्सचेंज रेट डिफरेंस आइडर डिस्क्रिप्शन और ट्रांजैक्शन इधर ट्रांजैक्शन और डबल क्लिक ऑन इधर ट्रांजैक्शन और exchange rate but what is the transaction you need to select kdp if you are selecting exchange uh, description then exchange rate difference using exchange rate key so double click here give your chart of accounts what is your chart of accounts uoca give your chart of accounts uoca whatever chart of accounts you have give your chart of accounts press enter or continue okay fine right what does thing we are doing is expense account and earnings account so what is my expense account you can see here Double four, double zero three. It's the same company code I have taken. It's not my company code. Company code UT zero one. So we have defined exchange yesterday GL accounts we have created right. So here out of one is cost accounts and revenue accounts. So you can see here three two. Three two double zero three realized gain account. Okay, realized unrealized forty four realized loss account. Okay, just cited expense account double four double zero three zero. Next one three two double zero three zero. okay any questions here so here for example i would like to double 430 okay so we need to assign expense account and this one Just write it up. So normally we need to exchange rate difference is a blank. Why? Because we can use if it is blank, we can use for any GL account. Exchange rate difference should be blank. We can use for any okay. So now we can give it as a GL accounts. Write down this. next one so click on save button 
so this is without valuation item so next write up press back button press back button press back button press back button x write up note execute same activity execute same activity execute same activity execute same activity so double click on kdb double click on double click on kdb give chart of accounts what we did here after giving uh, chart of accounts after giving chart of accounts what we have done we pressed enter we that press enter right so now yes. we are going to do three options here continue cancel and here it is a valuation area now we are going to do we need to click on change valuation area button right down click on second step ch click on change valuation area click on change valuation area button so here we need to give valuation area l1 already we have defined here u1 for example u1 change valuation area u1 whatever valuation area you have defined then next click on continue button now you can give the same gl accounts okay double four double zero three zero and three two double zero three zero KDB transaction code. Write down. Repeat. Write down note. Repeat the same. Repeat the same activity. Repo or write it down. Repeat the above configuration for other valuation areas. That is U T U two and U three U two and U three. Repeat the same above configuration for valuation areas U two and U three. Repeat the above configuration U two and U three valuation areas. U2 and U3 valuation areas. So click on save button. So follow the same thing. So first you need to come back completely. So till here, prepare. Next, click on execute. So first step, double click on KDB. Okay, UOCA. So same thing. So we are defining. Okay. Double four, three to double zero. So exchange rate we are defining. Now save it. Back button. Now we need to go to valuation areas. So again come back. Completely come back. Completely come back. Again prepare automatic postings for foreign currency. So double click on KDB. So instead of continue what we need to do. We need to click on change valuation areas U2. So change valuation area U2, click here. So you can enter these transactions. Okay. So this is done. Once it's done, click on save button. What is the other valuation area we need to do? U3. U3. So repeat the same for U3 also. So press back button. Press back button. Okay. Prepare our valuation area. Okay. Double click on KDB. Okay, USCA. So click on continue. So just to define double four double zero three three double zero three new entries. Save. Press back button. Okay, press back button. Now we need to give valuation areas. So again, execute. Double click on KDB. Okay, click on valuation area. U three. Say okay button. Now you can see. UOCA, 
KDB, ultra valuation, Q3 valuation area. Okay. Next write down. Come out from this write down note. Write down. Come out from this activity. Come out from this activity. Come out from this activity. Write down. Come out from this activity. Execute the same activity. Execute this activity. Execute same activity. Execute same activity. So we need to define now items, open item GL accounts. So double click on KDF. Double click on KDF, right? And this is very important. Exchange rate difference, open items, GL account. Okay, we have already done exchange rate difference using exchange rate keys, right? KDF, double click on KDF or exchange rate difference, open item, GL accounts. So same thing, double click. So give your chart of accounts. Give your chart of accounts. Give your chart of accounts. Now first we need to click on continue. Click on continue. UOCA. Just write it down as it is this one. Write it down as it is. 30, all the GL accounts which are related to yesterday whatever we have created for local currency and hard currency. So if you want to see like this, okay, I'll show you. First write it down like this. Just write it down as it is. So what is double four double two zero? It's a valuation purpose unrealized account. Only for month end activity for accrual part. This right down. You know all the GL accounts yesterday we have created. So what is it's it's for local currency. So we are linking the GL account, ultra operational chart of account 13102. So here it will affect it for all the GL accounts. Loss and gain account, right? Once you are done, let me know. Once you are done, let me know, please. Yeah, any questions here? Done, everyone? Yes, sir. Click on save button. Click on save button. So it will ask for uh, transport request. And uh, so which currency we have created? USD. Company code currency, correct? So now press back button. Select 13100. 13, 13, 1 lakh 30, 100. 1 lakh 30. So click on copy as button. 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 So here we need to do for 40. So just change foreign currency type 40 and remaining rest all are same. Right now.
Okay, already it will be there. So we are just copying. Once you are done, let me know. Just copy, just 40. Then you type 40. That's it. Done, everyone. All this we should do manually. Sorry? All the GLs we need to enter manually. Why you are copying, right? From 13100 local currency. First one, first, first one. one. Right? Automatically it will come. Okay. Only we are changing currency type. Okay. Fine. So yeah. click on save button. Click on save button. Next. Write down note, N O T note. Write down a note. Write down a note. Under that, the above configuration. The above configuration. The above configuration need to be maintained. The above configuration. The above configuration to be maintained. For all loan accounts for all loan accounts comma for all loan accounts comma bank accounts loan accounts bank accounts cash accounts comma trade payables account cash account bank accounts trade payables account and trade receivable accounts trade payable accounts and trade receivable accounts. Okay. So trade payables and trade receivables, we are going to see in AP model. As of now, we have not created. But this configuration in real time, we are going to maintain in trade payables and trade receivables. Nothing but your AP module and AR module. So however, we are going to start soon the AP module and AR module. So bank account also we have not created. That is also we can we will see in AP and AR. So we have created we have created loan account. So we have already created for loan account. Correct. And cash accounts already there. So copy copy the settings to all the GL accounts. All the GL accounts. Copy one lakh thirty thousand one hundred. Copy one lakh thirty thousand one hundred to all these GL accounts yesterday, whatever we created, even though ca along with cash account. Okay, just write it down. So you need not to do it. You need you need to copy that's it. All these GL accounts. Clear? Once you're done, let me know. Okay, so here the best accounts also just got one
okay then everyone yes ma'am okay so what we'll do we'll continue the next in tomorrow session okay ma'am thank you thank you thank you just practice it but only the request hope you have a server access for both yes ma'am we have taken from venkatesham at the time yeah thank you um, now why i am asking in the sense already we have even we started our own servers with uh, we'll have a fresh complete hour but once you are done with that particular venkat so if for renewal you can come to me okay if you require okay uh cost i mean i didn't get you it's because it's a complete fresh server only for our batch. Okay. So 1200 for six months, huh? Sorry? Uh, 2400 for six months. Okay. Okay. I think how much he is charging? 1500. Sorry? Per six months. Six months. 1500. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not sure. Uh, okay. But if you, whatever feasible for you, it's not forced, you can take whatever is convenient for you. But what the thing is, this particular whatever server we uh, we give, this is only related to our batch and our people. So you can check it out or else you can continue that also not an issue. Okay. Yeah, thank okay. you. Thank you.